Well, it doesn't technically, I mean, we, uh, you already gave consent by giving the interview, but I, like I said, I'll promise to keep it in context. I may or may not include that. I'm just being honest. Okay, so here's one option at this point. Okay. This camera comes with me. What? Yeah. You're I got seven people standing around here right now. Yeah, unless you agree to process this interview, there's one of them. Don't let him spindle you. Me? The condition. Well, dude, that's for you, up, man. I'm not. I'm, I'm telling you, I'll put you in context. I'm keeping everything honest, but you're like threatening me to take my property now. So why are we out here today? Uh, we're out here today because right now, currently, there are children, infants, toddlers, babies who are being detained. They're in prison, like they're in prison essentially. Uh, families being separated, children being separated from their mothers. Uh, we are here to end that practice right now. Sure. And w so, what do you think should be done instead? Um, that's a very complex answer. I don't even know right now, but I know that families should not be separated no matter what. It doesn't matter uh, who they are or where you are, what border you cross supposedly or whatever. You can't separate children from their parents. That's just cruel and sick and twisted and wrong on every every moral and ethical level. Anybody who does that, is there's something wrong with them. We well, I mean, we, we do that to even to American citizens as far as, you know, if they commit a crime, then we separate okay, you the know parents. what? If you're going to try to debate me right now, it's not... No, gonna... I'm not a deba I'm just presenting, like, the, the, the legal rationale behind it, is basically. Who, what's the name of your YouTube channel? Nuance Bro. Nuance Bro? What is it about? It's about I go to political rallies and I ask people questions about why they're here and what do they believe, and I kind of ask okay. challenging questions to kind of be like, you know, why do you... I'm trying to figure okay, out why if, people believe... If I'm walking to a march and it's hot, I'm not We're really... In shade, not I mean. going to have... You know what? You can just... Okay, cool. So why are we out here today? So we're here to demand um, the separation of families that a lot of our families are going through because of their immigration status. Um, to end that, right? To end that, yes. So to terminate that completely, but also to acknowledge that fa family separation is something that is not current. It's something that has happened with other administrations as well. It's just that now it's being highlighted more because we see how it's not only affecting adults, but also our children, right? Um, this administration just recently stated um, that they lost 1,475 uncompanied minors, which we believe is not true because first of all, they were the ones that gave these children to foster homes. Um, without checking people's records. So we know that this is an attack to our families because they want to bring still that pain. For them, it's a sign of other people will not cross the border anymore if we do this. But we know that this is very inhumane. Um, inhumane, right? Inhumane, yes. This, ha this happened under Obama, though, too, the, the children being lost or whatever. I mean, what, what happens, because I think it was, you know, with Trump, it's almost 1,500. Under Obama, it was about over 4,000, I believe. Yeah, so uh, it, it, what, what happens is they, they try to send them to foster homes. It's usually relatives or, you know, other families who are here that are familiar with them, t usually. But uh, they usually give them, like, phone numbers. That's almost the extent of their contact with them. And it's they basically say, oh, they just didn't respond to the call in like 30 yeah, days or something. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's something that has happened, like I mentioned, with other administrations as well. Um, we still have shelters, places they call shelters, but there, these are like detention centers for children only. So we know that all these children are still kept in cages. They're being abused. They're being trafficked um, just because... Trafficked? What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, like all this 1,475 children, right? Like you said, they've well, been... They're not being trafficked. They're not they're trafficked. Being yeah, they are, because you don't know if they're being given to people who are sex traffickers, who are abusers. So, yes, our children are being trafficked. Well, you said we don't know, so, I mean, we can't, we can't really necessarily say wow. for sure, like, this is what's really, this is not like a general case or anything. That's what we believe. Okay. They are being trafficked. Well, so, um, what, what do you think is the solution to this? What are we, what are we trying to achieve? Um, well, um, Germany, well, we want the separation of families to stop. We want to end that, but we also want to end the uh, co um, collaboration with local enforcement, with immigration. Um, we also want to end the killings of our brothers and sisters, uh, you know, when they're crossing the border. We want to end all the uh, abolish detention centers because we know that the conditions inside are very horrifying. For example, Roxana, the trans, the trans women who died inside a detention center recently because immigration of, um, officers denied her medication. So it's just so many things that are happening that we need to end. Because so instead of the 
instead of the detention centers, what should we do with with people who are in like the the limbo period before we find them foster homes or you know before we determine any sort of asylum status or anything? What should we do instead of the detention centers for that temp temporary period of time? I mean, this these are people, right? They are people too. So. Um, Families need to stay together, so abolishing all these um, actions that separate them, that criminalize them, yes, that's what we need to do. I, I mean, mean do, do we put them anywhere, or do we just let them come into the country with zero consequences, or what's the what's the solution? I mean, borders shouldn't exist. I mean, that's so you're, you're an open borders person. Yes. So we were at the Texas State Democrat Convention taping a Fourth of July theme to change my mind to be released on July second when. Noticed a familiar face. It's Firebomb Lady! That's the girl who posted our location in Austin precisely and called for people to firebomb our car! And then doubled down with a second post for additional domestic terrorism context. So I decided to confront her. How are you today? Quick question for you. Why would you encourage people to firebomb my van? Why would you do that? Do you think that's appropriate to encourage people to firebomb my van and hurt my crew when we're just expressing a difference of opinion? Sorry, could you repeat that? Why would you threaten to firebomb my van or encourage other people to do it? At first, she just denied, denied, denied. Good thing we brought a Bristol board. As a matter of fact, we have your pictures oh, right shit. here of your tweets, yes. of you posting our location, right? Let's hold, let's hold that for me there. Nah, KJ. So, is that the way you deal with civil disagreements? I've heard a lot of people talk about calls to civility with President Trump and conservatives, but what about this? What about firebombing someone, committing acts of violence? I, I would never encourage acts of violence against you. I don't want anyone to ever hurt you. Nothing, huh? This is the tolerant left. No, my feelings aren't hurt. I just don't want to be firebombed. It doesn't really have a place in today's political discussion, wouldn't you say? Why the eye roll? You think it does have a play a role? As long as it's the right target? Really? No opinion on this though. What if a conservative, what if Donald Trump were to encourage anyone to firebomb somebody else? Well, when they go to war, that's what they're doing. <laughs> well, we're not in war, we we're just having a discussion, no, as we just did with war, three or four no, Democrats. No. At a van? No, literally said saying. we need to kill uh, yeah. innocent families, so... Did he say that? Yeah, when did he say, say that? that? About, but I didn't say that. But I've never said well, you that. Said, what well, you said what if a conservative... You said what if a conservative... Trump said this? Do you, you condemn that? Uh, no, I think it's great. You think, you think it's yeah. great? So you're cool with firebombing people who've never committed an act of violence? Just drone strikes on children. Well, even if this silly falls out right now. So this doesn't bother you? It doesn't you're okay matter. with encouraging this violence against people? This is silly. I just want to make sure. This is an right. What? Healthcare is a human right! You are all this animal. Healthcare is a human right! You do realize we're filming. That's fine. We'll go ahead and film. Right. You have the right to not have a problem with it. But why don't you answer the question? Healthcare is a human right! Yeah, what about... A van is not a life! No, but what about the people in the van, though? No. A van is not a life. Healthcare is a human right. No one's gonna speak out against this. Healthcare is a human right. No one's gonna speak out against this. Healthcare is a human right. 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 Come on, man. Let's not get violent. Let's not get violent. We don't deny service to people for immutable characteristics. We can legally on the basis of political affiliation, but I don't think it was constructive and it hurts the debate. The other side to the issue is the fact that Republican women want to be deemed feminists and they want to have the same kind of clout as women on the left who are actually advocating for policies that help women, whereas the policies out of this administration actually hurt them, like refusing but, to but, raise... But women, but we, we, women that work for the president, they wouldn't say that. They well, would say actually the opposite. Yeah, but they would say that we believe you in, could in say, these issues and we feel like they help women. Yeah, you, they can would say, be on the side. you can say whatever you want, but the statistics don't lie. We know that if you raise the minimum wage, two-thirds of people in this country on the minimum wage are women. They need that help. We know that there is a assault on women's health care rights from this administration, things Jess, like that. Jess, Jess, yeah? Jess, please, please, I hate this, this selective feminism that we hear on the left all the time, okay? Well, don't make this a feminism issue because it's not a feminism but issue. But it is. When you're because, going out and attacking on, women, you're not, I'm not done, I'm not done, okay? When you're going out and attacking women, you are not a feminist. This is not defensible whatsoever. And you sit here and you say this I'm sorry, because what? you care about mothers. The basis of this is that people are upset that illegal immigrants are being separated from their mothers. Why don't you refocus some of that energy to the black community? 
They've been having their families separated. In fact, it's subsidized in the black community. You appreciate single motherhood. You are giving more mother for more more money to families for fatherless absence. So all of this selective fake outrage when you guys do not have the same defenses for the black community is really lost on me. And it's it's times up on this altogether. I think the black community has had enough of you guys being selectively outraged for parents of illegal immigrants, but not for the parents of the black community who have been separated from their family for uh, about six decades. All right, and I, 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 this is a very slippery slope. The left should stop this because then you're basically saying that in the future this is going to be allowed in administrations that you do support. And as I said, the selective outrage for illegal families when this has been going on in the black community. No one talks about the fathers that are separated, the fathers that are behind bars, the fathers that are buried on, on the south side of Chicago and in Baltimore. So again, this is completely to me seems like fake outrage and I don't support but it whatsoever. Right, that's some new news. Um, this has just come out from the Associated Press. This is incredible. Trump administration officials have been sending babies and other young children. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> to at least three. Oh. Can we put up the graphic of this? Thank you. Do we have it? No. Three tender age shelters in South Texas. Lawyers and medical providers. Just, I think I'm going to have to hand this off. Yeah. Sorry. That does it tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Now it is time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell, where he is live in Brownsville, Texas. Thank you very much, Rachel. We just got word of that. Hello, my name is Jay. I'm social justice based. Agree with me or you'll be shamed.